Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I am here today with an updated handbag review and it is of this very versatile, very well used bag called the mini anchor bag from Oleda. I have unboxed it about three months ago and I wanted to share my updated review thoughts after using it for three months and if I would recommend it. If you're interested in this bag and my thoughts on it, continue to watch. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags. I also like travel, fashion, luxury. So if you like any or all of those things, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. So I had unboxed this bag about three months ago and I generally like to do an updated review of bags that I've unboxed after using it for about two to three months. The reason's because I think it is helpful to know not just what someone thinks right when they open, unbox, first impressions, but also how it works, lasts, and, and whether it's actually worth buying. So that's why I do this. I hope you guys do find it helpful. I know a lot of you have given me feedback that that is something you guys enjoy. I will try to do my best to do a comprehensive review. Of course, this is coming from my opinion, so if you have your own opinions after using it, I would love to hear it in the comments below as well. In this video, I will cover general background of this bag, the specs of this bag, such as weight, size, etc., what it can fit, the ways to wear it, the wear and tear of this bag after three months of use, pros and cons, and lastly, do I recommend it? I will put timestamps below in the description box so that you can jump around anytime you wanna go back to it or revisit it. But otherwise, let's get started. So like I said, this bag is called the Mini Anchor and it's by the brand Oleada. It is made from calfskin leather, it is pebbled, and it is grabbed from the food industry where most of this material would have been tossed. So the brand is very keen on repurposing waste and being environmentally friendly. This calfskin pebbled leather is top grain, which is a very nice and supple, but structured leather. And this Italian leather is stain and water resistant. There is a zippered compartment at the top and it opens up to a micro suede line interior, which I will show you more of in just a second. There is a back pocket as well. And you'll see that there are some hardware, minimal, and a top handle. The hardware includes the strap clips right here and also at the top of the bag. There are currently three colors on the website, including this camel color, which is very nice for a neutral bag so you can match it with a lot of different outfits. There's also an ash color, which is more of a gray. And then the newest color, which is cloud, and is this creamy um, white color, which is super pretty. All of them currently retail for $485, which is a steal nowadays uh, for a nice leather bag for under 500, but I also have an additional 15% off with my link that I'll link below. Let's go into the specs of this bag really quick. As you can see, this bag is more long lengthwise and the length across here is 9.1 inches or 23 centimeters. The depth of the bag is 2.7 inches or seven centimeters. And the height of this bag is 5.9 inches or 15 centimeters. The weight of this bag with all the straps and everything but empty is 1.2 pounds or 510 grams. However, since these straps are completely removable, the weight of the bag without the straps is 0.84 pounds or 380 grams. So it's fairly light, I would say, uh, for a leather bag and for it to be lined. So going inside the bag to show you what I currently have in it, I have a mini iPad, which you can see sits nicely in the back. I also have a pair of sunglasses in a soft case and also a long wallet. This is my Louis Vuitton Emily wallet, but any long wallet you can see will fit nicely right here. If let's say you don't care about the long wallet, but you wanted to put a eight ounce water bottle in there, um, you can, uh, let me just kind of slip this here so you can see that. You can then put a card holder in here because it's now smaller so it could fit. 
and a lippy would also fit nicely in here, no problem. And you still have some space kind of hanging out. So I can also put a Louis Vuitton clay in here, which has my car keys and house keys pretty much full. <laughs> and that can slip right there. So now you can see that we have my iPad, water bottle, card holder, clay, lippy. And I guess if I want it to, I can also slip the sunglasses with the soft case on top and then zip it shut. So you can kind of see it's a little bulky, but it will do. And then if you don't like that that's too bulky, you can also take out the iPad. And then now it's uh, much better in terms of like the structure of the bag. You can see that it doesn't poke out anywhere. A lot of people have asked me if this can fit a mini push accessoire. And let me just show you. It can fit nicely in there. It ultimately depends on what you fit in your mini pochettes. Right now I have a hand lotion and a compact. So here we go. And then here is a hand cream. It's pretty big size. So if you, I can also put something else in here, like there's more space, but if you fill it full, I think it would get more tight in the bag. But with just what I have, it would fit nicely with the clay, the card holder, and the water bottle, and the lippy. Note that there's also these front slip pockets on this side. Uh, so you can put like your card holder there so that it's easier to access without like it getting jumbled and it still closes very well like this. And I have the Pixel 8 and that fits nicely into this back pocket right here. So I like to kind of have it sticking out so I can easily grab it. But if you really want it to, you can also um, kind of wedge it in. It'll be a tight fit, but you can wedge it in so that it's more um, flush and not sticking out. If there are other items that you would like to see in this bag, um, let me know and I can try to tell you if it fits, but otherwise this is sort of what I normally have been asked about and what I would bring. So uh, hopefully this is helpful. All right, next up, I wanna talk about how you can wear this bag. I've been generally wearing it as a backpack because I am in a backpack kind of phase right now. Uh, I've been using this one as well as my Chanel mini quilted OKs backpack a lot, but this one, like I said, could be worn multiple ways. So let me just show you right now that it's in the backpack style. Um, it looks like this on me and um, I can also show you pictures of me wearing it live so that you can kind of see it better uh, in the wild. Another way that I like to wear it is also carrying it at the top handle. As you can see, it's very nice to be able to just grab and go, but you can also change the strap. So this one, it's detachable by a lobster clasp and you can put it onto this side. Now, I would probably remove this, but just for the, just cause I'm just showing you and saving some time, um, you can see that it now becomes a shoulder bag like this. So you can wear it um, kind of just nicely on the shoulder, but you can also wear it cross body. I think this is a high cross body, but if you let out the straps a little bit, so let me just do it really quick. So, so I've made it longer now and you can see that wearing it crossbody is a lot better in terms of the length. So if you're taller than me, you can definitely play around with it a little bit more. The strap longest is 45.3 inches or 115 centimeters. So I, I think that should be helpful. But yeah, I can also make it so that it's a, a long uh, shoulder bag as well. And just to show you live, the strap drop of this to the top handle right here is 17 and a half inches, to the top of the bag is 19 inches. So right here is a 19 inch drop. But because this strap is completely removable, let me just take this off right, here, right now.
So I've completely removed all leather straps from this bag. You can see that now becomes a very cute clutch. This can either be worn um, kind of just handheld like this. You can't see me holding it down, but um, it can be like a very nice clutch so that if you had a nighttime event, it could go from day to night. But I also like to dress it up as well. So I have um, other chains. This one is from Next Fashion. And oh my gosh, this is such a good chain. It kind of has that Sean Donk design, as I mentioned in my previous video already. Um, so if you're interested in that, I'll list it below. But they have different lengths. And um, I chose this one, which is uh, 24 inches. So let me just show you what it looks like. It's super cute. If you want to buy the strap, I will link uh, the item below. You can, there's an extra uh, discount code that I will also provide. Okay, so you can see that right now it looks like this. It's definitely more dressy because of the chain and yeah, it's so easy just to pop on any chain onto this bag because it is removable. So I really like that. And yeah, it's just very versatile. Like there are, I think about five ways you can wear this. So I definitely like that. Next up is the wear and tear. I have not seen any wear and tear, so let me hold it up closer to you so that you could see. Um, none of the corners have any major wear. The handle looks fine. Even though that there are no feet, you can see that the corners are in pretty pristine condition. Um, the back, which rubs against my back or the side of my body, depending on how I wear this, is also very nice. No scratches, no color transfer. And the only, I think, wear, I would say, is actually the hardware. The hardware here definitely has a few hairline scratches, but it's so minor and it's so expected um, after multiple wears that I don't think that that's considered um, a big problem. So overall, I would say there is basically no wear and tear and no scratches, no marks, no color transfer. So very happy on that front. I do want to point out though, I don't put this on the ground. I don't toss it around. I don't baby it in the sense I don't like hold it like this everywhere, but I definitely don't. I I take care of it. When I get home, I do like kind of wipe wipe it down if I notice anything. If it gets wet, I definitely, you know, use a napkin to like blot it dry right away. So I do take those kind of care, but in terms of like, you know, uh, babying it, like trying to put it in like a little plastic bag when I go out, I don't do that. So pros and cons. I've listed a lot of pros already, I think. Um, it included versatility, so many ways you can wear it. That included durability, that there's no wear and tear. I also love all the compartments that this bag has. So not only are there two slip pockets and a zipper pocket in the inside, for you know organization but there's also a very handy slip pocket that can fit many many size phones on the back so that you don't have to open the zipper pocket in order to get into it the zipper is super secure and i love how supple and soft but structured this bag is so that there is no worry of slouching but it also feels nice against your body the top handle is also very nice to be able to like you know take this off your shoulder and then hold it and then put it down versus like swinging it around i love that the straps are very easily interchangeable removable and it just creates a many, many looks for this bag. Let's go into the cons. Like I had mentioned, the zipper is really nice because it is very secure, but at the same time, you know, if you're wearing it, it is not as easy to get into as a flat bag. So in other words, I have to like do this, do this, go in and then close it um, like this. And it's actually pretty nice as a backpack because it's harder for somebody to get into, but it also means it's harder for me to get into. So I haven't noticed too much of an issue, um, but you know, I just want to point that out as it's getting into the bag is not as easy as a flat bag, for example, that has like, you know, either magnetic or a twist lock mechanism. The zipper is definitely safe, but it does take a little bit longer to get into. I always also prefer to have feet at the bottom of my bags um, to protect the leather at the bottom here. However, seeing that there's no wear and tear so far, maybe that's not such a big issue for this particular bag, but I do wanna point that out because that is something I look forward to. Another con I do hope um, 
could be fixed uh, is that the straps for the backpack, the shortest I can make it still falls pretty low on my back. Now, if you are taller than me, I think that is not an issue because I am very short. I'm only 5'1". Uh, 155 centimeters. So if you're taller than me, that's not an issue at all. Or if you buy special different straps for the backpack, it's not an issue. But the ones that come with it is um, okay for where I want, like most of the time, but sometimes I do want to wear it a little bit higher and I find that I cannot do that for this particular bag on my height. So finally, the last category I wanted to cover is whether I will recommend this bag or not. I think by now you would already know that I am a pretty big fan of it. So I would say if this bag holds the amount of things that you would want to carry, so that would be like a mini iPad, a little water bottle, um, if you wanted a a key pouch, a small wallet, or you can remove some of those things and put a long wallet. Um, I would say it's an actually really good sized bag. If you are somebody who likes to hold a lot of things, you know, a, a big agenda or a laptop, obviously this bag is not for you. Also, if you are somebody who likes versatility, so being able to bring one bag or buy one bag in your collection and be able to wear it as a backpack, crossbody, shoulder bag, interchange it with different straps that you have bought elsewhere or from another bag, this is an awesome bag for you. If you don't really care, you just want a tote um, that you can easily throw things into, again, that's probably not for you. And lastly, the Italian leather that they source is not only very nice top grain leather, but it's from uh, the food industry that would have been tossed. I really think that that is good for the environment and I it's better than like, you know, wasting additional materials to make this. So I do really like that and all coming in at under $500 nowadays, it's a very, very good price. And of course, like I had mentioned, I have a link below that you can use. Um, I'll list it in the information in the description box below, but you can get an additional 15% off that price. And um, yeah, I, I would love to hear if you had used the link or code that I provided. I would love to hear if it helped you. Um, I always, I'm trying to get a discount so that you guys can benefit from it, save a little bit of money, but I would also like to hear the feedback if you have used it. I think that covers everything I wanna talk about this mini anchor bag. I do also have another bag from Oleada that I will review at a later time. I thought I'd do it two videos because otherwise it'll be very long. But if you had any additional questions that I did not cover in this video, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you do own this bag already, I know a few of you have purchased it last year when I first unboxed it. Would love to hear your thoughts on it as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe for more videos in the future and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!